What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick training guide today for Benzema. A lot of people asking me about him. He is a deep line forward, right? So that does make a little bit of a difference to this card compared to some strikers that you might have been playing with before, right? So I do think that Benzema looks pretty decent. Obviously, he's got his little injury band there as well. He's got some nice team play style proficiency as all these cards do. He does have unwavering form as well. And then the player skills. When you take a look and a deeper look at these player skills, yes, we can add additional skills which turn this card into, I won't say a meta player. I don't think that he's going to be meta because of the lack of pace and the lack of stats that he has in certain categories. But he is a very interesting kind of striker that you can have in your squad, right? And I'll show you a couple of different ways that you can train him up, including the 95 version that I think is the best one of him, right? So player skills. He does have first time shot. He also has acrobatic finishing. He also has dipping shot, chip shot control, and heading. I would have liked to have seen first time pass or one touch pass on Benzema, I should say. I do like the fact that he does have acrobatic finishing because he can be able to get up more often than not. And I do think that he'll be able to get to balls that certain strikers won't be able to get to, right? If you are playing a tall center forward, especially a deep line forward like Benzema, right? You do need to kind of cater your play style for him. Like you don't, you can't really play him in a similar way that you would play other strikers, right? So if you are used to using a goal poacher or a fox in the box or, you know, somebody like that, that you're going to be using in a, in a more, let's just say a more kind of like traditional way. Um, I do think that this guy is more of a kind of like as a deep line forward, you have to play him in a certain way that a lot of people won't be able to use because he comes forward for the ball. He comes out towards an attack and midfield type position, Right. Now, we are going to take a look at a couple of other deep line forwards as well, just to give you a bit of an example of how he plays, right? So, we are over here on eFootballDB. You've got Benzema, Harry Kane, Firmino, Depay, Hulk, uh, Kulamani. This guy is an absolute monster. But all of these guys have one thing in common. They kind of come towards the attack and midfield area of the pitch to be able to win the ball, right? Now, this card for Benzema right here, we've been boosted up with 16 levels, 30 progression points, 5 into shooting, 7 into dribbling and dexterity, 1 into lower body strength just to get his stamina up a little tiny boost, and then the aerial strength, right? I think this is kind of the best card if you are looking, not for speed or acceleration or balance, but if you are looking to get him into that, into that category of being able to use him in multiple different ways. So you're going to be using him similar to Lewandowski, even though they've got separate kind of play styles. Lewandowski is going to be a different type of play style than Ben's. I do like this version of him, right? Now, all the versions of, of Benzema are deep line forward. So we don't have like a fox in the box or anything like that. And there are different versions of him here that have been released so far, right? Even the standard card has 21 levels to go. And he's not that worse than this Benzema. So I don't think that you should be spinning particularly for this Benzema. Obviously, the big difference is that the price, you know, he's, six, he's, he's three quarters of a million GP, which is a lot. And obviously, as well as that, the team play style is a bit of an issue. But in terms of the training guide for him, because you're going to be looking to boost this player with additional skills, if you're lucky enough to get like outside curler, and if you're lucky enough to get a couple of long range shooting, um, you know, like you already have dipping shot, but if you are able to get knuckle shot on him or long range curler or something like that, I think you can kind of train this player in a little bit of a better way. One touch pass on this card would be huge because he brings him up into the kind of Burkamp level of passing and stuff that you'll be able to orchestrate plays, right? So if you're comfortable enough with finishing, you can actually leave that at 87 with four into shooting and then you can pop the rest into uh, aerial strength or dexterity or whatever way you want to put it. I would definitely probably reduce the dribbling if you're going to be using him exactly as he is, right? 85 tie possession is more than enough for this card, right? 87 finishing, you've got your dexterity that you want to max out, and you've also got your aerial strength that you want to max out as well. If you want to go down that route with him, you can get to a still going to be a 95 overall, um, or a 96 overall with the dribbling, but I don't think you need the dribbling that high, right? Because with Benzema, you're going to either be taking the shot on yourself, or you're going to be passing off with 75 low pass, and if you can give him the additional skill of one touch pass, I do like that version of him. I think the, the best thing here is the dexterity. You want to be able to train up that dexterity as max as you possibly can. 92 offensive awareness means he's going to be making incredible runs, like insane runs into the box. 
when you get on the ball you'll have 87 finishing and you'll have 83 kicking power and then on top of that you've also got a very high uh, acceleration for a player that has got these other skills is he going to replace somebody like Romario or somebody like that that's on the upper echelon like a free Mbappe I don't think so but there is a lot to be said about this card as well the player of the week one that they released had only 74 acceleration and 90 finishing with 90 offensive awareness with 84 tight possession this one has 86 tight possession with 87 finishing 92 offensive awareness and 79 acceleration so I do think it is a better card than the player of the week one but let me know how you get on with him that is the ultimate version of him that I would have and uh, yeah that's it for me I mean a deep line forward is a hard position to play as a striker so yeah let me know what you guys think and I'll be back soon peace